And there are many, many examples actually from the lives of not only Abu Bakr, but many of the companions. There's one story about Ali ibn Talib, who was the fourth Khalif. And there's one story, for example, how after a certain battle, someone had stolen his armor. And he found a Christian with his armor. So he accused this Christian that he had stolen his armor and he lodged a complaint with the... He's the Caliph of the Muslims, by the way, right? He's ruling now an empire that stretches from, I don't know, beyond the Euphrates, down into, Af down into West Africa, or whatever, however far he had reached at that stage, not quite that far, but beyond Egypt anyway. So this is the size of his empire, he's the ruler, yet when he sees a man wearing his armor, what does he do? He goes to the judge. He goes to the judge and he lodges a complaint with the Qadi. So the Qadi calls Ali ibn Talib, the judge, he calls the ruler, the whole ruler of the Muslims, and he asks him, okay, okay, who are your witnesses that this is your armor? And he says, well, my, my servant, he's a witness, and, and my son, they're the two witnesses, they know that's my armor. And the judge said, well, they're, they're, I can't accept their witness because they're, you know, they have an interest in it. Because one's your servant and one's your son, they've got an interest. So, that was it. <laughs> So he said, I, I can't uh, take this armor from the, the, the man. So, and he accepted it. He's the ruler of the Muslims, he accepted it. So if that's the decision of the judge, that's the judge's decision. And he went away. Of course, when the Christian found out about that, he was so impressed. He came with the armor, he said, this is your armor. And also, he gave Ali unto that a horse. And also, he became Muslim.